Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're going to be looking at Sherlock Coyne from Thomas Raboule and Anthony Stan. What is Sherlock coin. Uh, it's a coin effect, a sign coin effect, could be even, or be a ring, uh, that works in conjunction with a card effect. It's even an impossible object location. It's crazy. Want to see the trailer? This is it. All right, so that was Sherlock Coyne. Uh, it's a really cool effect. I can't wait to jump into this review. All right, what's in the box? You're gonna get a handmade gimmicked deck. Uh, these decks were custom made by the creators, each one individually for you, and it comes in a blue bicycle back stock. You're also gonna get the download code uh, to download the video. The video is 42 minutes long. You can get it both in French and English. Is it what I thought? Um, it is kind of what I thought. Um, I, when I was watching the trailer and kind of putting it together, I thought, well, if I did it, it would be like this. And it, it was similar to how I thought it would be, but I was very impressed with the detailing of the custom-made gimmick. How are the angles? The angles on this are chiefly gonna be flashing and edges, all right? So thinking about that, don't want to expose too much, but that is basically where your angles uh, would be. Can it be inspected? Absolutely not. This is a 100% completely gaff deck. You won't be able to use this deck for anything else. Uh, it's a one hit wonder. Please don't hand this deck out. What's the overall quality and production value of the video? Uh, Thomas Raboule and Anthony Stan, uh, they both take turns talking to you. Uh, and there is some international language dubbing. Most of the video is done as an over-the-shoulder table shot with the magician sitting at the table, and the voice is a dub over depending on which language uh, you're watching it in. What's taught on the DVD? Uh, chiefly, because it's 42 minutes, you're initially getting the routine, okay? You're really getting just the routine. There are some variations, there are some ideas in there as well. I would have liked a section on making your own gimmick from your very favorite deck. I would have liked that but I think just by holding the gimmick in your hands and looking through it, it's pretty obvious how to make your own. So I'm saying it could be possible to make your own, but I would probably lend myself more towards blue colored decks or dark decks. Is it well made? It is completely well made. It is a bicycle deck and each one of these decks have been completely just hand made uh, with a lot of care. If you take care of it yourself, it should last you a good long time. How much practice does this require? Uh, really not much, which is crazy when you think about it because you're doing a sign card uh, trick 
which has no force, all right, and you're able to locate the card at the end of the trick. So that's one trick. You're also vanishing the object with, with a really simple move. And so it's also a vanish, and then it's, a, it's an impossible location effect. You're able to do all three of those things in one effect with literally no skill. Uh, I think they've covered every aspect of this. It's a wonderful, couldn't be easier trick. How much setup and reset is there? There's practically none. There is a deck stack, but the deck pretty much sets itself. Positives, all right, so what are the positives to Sherlock Coin? You know, a signed card is found, a signed item vanishes, and then reappears in an impossible location. It's three tricks in one. Plus, it couldn't be easier, it's very well made. Negatives, all right, so like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. Uh, because it is a signed card effect, of course, you do understand you'll be handing those out. You will lose those cards. You will need to replace cards from a blue match deck uh, into this every so often. Plus, it's a one-hit wonder. Uh, the trick itself is $35. You won't be able to use this deck for anything else, so you're gonna be carrying this entire deck around only to do this one effect. So you just need to think about that when you go to make your purchases. Who would like this? I think this is a very powerful piece of magic that anyone of any skill level can do. Great for coin magicians and great for card magicians, both or people that like to do a little bit of crossover. All right, so that is my review of Sherlock Coin from Thomas Rouboulet and Anthony Stan. As always, I want to thank Murphy's Magic Supplies for allowing me to have this effect so that I could do the review for you. And if you would like to purchase this trick for yourself, you can find it from one of your very favorite Murphy's Magic retailers. Thanks, bye.